beauties, it's me, Allegra. I thought I would hop on today and share a clean girl makeup look. I have gotten some new makeup at Ulta. It's clean beauty and it's drugstore price. So I haven't tried that out yet, but I have been doing this clean girl makeup look with different products that I have. But today I'm gonna try out some new products with you dolls and I'm sure they're gonna work good. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully they'll work good. And if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Allegra Chetty. I hope you'll subscribe and stay in touch. We have tons of makeup, fashion, fun, giveaways, all kinds of good times. So don't forget to subscribe and also give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. It helps me out so much. So without further ado, let's just dive right into this clean girl makeup look. So one of the most essential parts of the clean girl makeup look is having that dewy, gorgeous, glowy skin. That skin that just looks effortless. So first things first, we're going to start with some good skincare. So I'm going to apply this moisturizer to my skin. This is from Pharmacy and this is the Honey Halo Moisturizer. So you just need a very small amount and just pretty much like a pea sized amount. I'm just going to just apply this to my skin like so and then I like to take a brush and work the product, actually work the moisturizer into my skin. So first I would just apply it all over and then I like to take a brush and just kind of press it and smooth it into my skin. I love to put it under my eyes, this way we can minimize any fine lines. Also hydrate and plump up that under eye area. And this moisturizer just feels so incredible. It's made of really great ingredients. And I love this Tarte brush. This brush is everything. It just fits so precisely under your eyes. So I use this for foundation and applying moisturizer. And then you can just work any additional product that's on the brush right into your neck area, your decolletage. And it just feels so good, you guys. So then I like to apply my primer. So I'm going to use this mineral primer from Hourglass. This is the Veil Primer. So it's made of minerals and good for your skin ingredients. I think this, is this a sample that I have? I do have a full size one as well. But I'm going to just apply this all over and then I'm gonna use the brush again to work this into my skin. You can also put this primer under your eyes as well to hydrate and prime your under eye area. So again, I'm gonna take the same brush and just press that primer into my skin using tapping motions. This primer is amazing. I actually feel so instantly brightened. My skin feels so soothed. You actually feel like you don't need a lot more makeup. Now, a lot of people think when you're wearing the Clean Girl makeup look that you don't have any makeup on, but in reality, so many of us have those kind of imperfections that we'd like to conceal. And so you can go ahead and go full out on all of your favorite makeup products. It's just that you're gonna apply them in a different way. So I am going to use my cream foundation today, which I love to use to conceal the under eye circles and the hollowing. And I'm gonna use this one from Hourglass. So I'm just gonna apply this though to the under eye area primarily, just like so, just where there's hollowing and where there's discoloration. And this one that I'm using, this particular shade has a yellow undertone, so I'm kind of also using this as a color corrector. So the orange tone to it that you might see right now is color correcting the purple and counteracting the purple of my dark circles. And I'm just gonna very gently just dab it in. I'm just blending the product in just very gently. Now we can go in with our foundation. I have here my Rare Beauty foundation that I absolutely love and I am in the shade 210N. I'm just gonna apply this straight out of the bottle right to my face. Now that I've applied it to my face, I'm just gonna take my sponge and just press the foundation into my skin. And I'm just using a damp beauty sponge here. And I'm gonna apply it to my eyelids as well. So this way we can use it as a base for the eyeshadow that we're gonna put on in just a moment. And if you're like me and you have really dark circles under your eyes and the hollowing, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a lighter shade concealer and I'm just gonna apply just a few dots of it, just again in that hollowing to disguise that hollowed out area. And you can bring it up just to lift your face. Now I'm gonna go in with some cream blush. Cream blush is essential to that clean girl makeup look. Again, it's gonna give you that dewy, effortless, glowing skin look. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Charlotte Tilbury Pinkgasm. This is a liquid blush, so it's 
a hybrid between a cream and a liquid but it's so gorgeous and it has a beautiful kind of shimmer to it so that also is going to give you that glowing skin clean skin makeup look like where you look just naturally flushed and gorge so i'm just going to apply a few drops of this and then you just want to take your beauty sponge and just press it into your skin and I like to kind of roll the beauty blender so I press it in initially but then I kind of roll it out and it really does make a big difference at blending it just perfectly into your skin because sometimes it can be hard to work the cream or the liquid blush into your skin but for some reason when you do this rolling motion it just really blends like a dream so then another huge part of the clean girl makeup look and a huge part of creating that glowing skin look is using some shimmer products but we're going to use them in a different way so i'm going to take this kind of shimmery translucent setting powder from laura mercier and i'm just going to apply this right on the high points of my face and then when there's hardly any product left on the brush you can take whatever is left over and kind of press it into your under eye area and then to take down the shine so there's not too much of a shine to our skin, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Traditional Setting Powder and just press this into the T-zone area. And now I'm going to take my Hourglass Blush and I'm just going to put some of this on the apples of my cheeks. I just use this so much, guys. I have to go get more. It's, as you can see, it's pretty much, there's no more left. So finally, I'm going to give myself a spritz of my Allegra Chetty Beauty Mist. This is a clean beauty makeup setting spray. It's made of all natural ingredients. It makes your makeup last super long, but it's also going to make all of the makeup we just put on just look so effortless and dewy and gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this on. And while I'm letting that soak in, we can work on the eyes now. And another trick is that while your skin is wet with the setting spray, you can go ahead with your beauty sponge and kind of just press everything in, all of the makeup into your skin very, very gently. And it's just gonna give you a really gorgeous blended look. So I'll let that set for a few minutes while we do the eyes now. And I have here this new product. This is a new clean beauty brand at Ulta. It's called Undone and it's amazingly drugstore priced clean beauty makeup. It looks amazing. It's a brow mascara, but you're getting the brow pen to make those hair like strokes on one side and then the other side is a brow mascara with a spoolie and the brow mascara on it. So I'm really excited to try this out. This was $9. So I'm just gonna take the spoolie end with the brow mascara and I'm just gonna brush it in an upward motion so we could try to get that full and fluffy brow look. So that's another huge part of the clean girl makeup look. You just want your brows to look really full, fluffy, effortless, youthful. And so we're just going to brush the brow hairs upwards and that's going to help to give that effect. So now we can get into the eyes and I just picked this up tonight at Ulta. It's also clean beauty and it goes for about $20. This is an eyeshadow palette from a brand called Well People. Here it is, clean beauty free of any parabens and good for you ingredients. So I'm really excited to try this out with you beauties. These are generally the colors though that you wanna reach for when you're going for that clean girl makeup look. So to start, I'm just gonna start with this shade here. You just wanna start with a mid-toned kind of shade for your crease area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl right into that shade and you just wanna go ahead and apply that into your crease area with a fluffy brush. So then you just want to take some cream gel liner and I just take an angled brush and I'm just going to use this cream gel from ColourPop and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the angled brush. So I'm going to dip in and then wipe off the excess. So I'm just going to apply this just to the outer portion of my eye. We're just going to make a small kind of flick. So we're just flicking outwards just very easily. You can also take it from underneath if you want and bring it up. That looks really good as well. And I'm only using that one time that we dipped in because you don't need a lot of product. So then we're gonna take a pencil type of brush and I'm gonna reach into the deepest shade in this palette. So that looks like this shade here is pretty deep. So I'm just gonna take my pencil brush and I'm just gonna go right over where we just put down the cream gel liner and just kind of blend it out and buff it out. 
So again, we're just gonna blend out that cream gel liner with this deep shade on the pencil brush. And then you can also smudge it on the outer portion as well. And I'm just connecting this shadow that we're putting down into our little wing that we put right there. And now we're gonna go back in with that transition shade that we first used and just blend out even further that dark shade. So just very gently blending it inwards. And then I'm gonna take that same transition shade again on a pencil brush and just buff out the lower eye area. And now I'm just gonna take the lightest shade in the palette and I'm just gonna put that on my brow bone. And I'll put some in the tear duct. So then beauties, I have these wispy lashes here. So I'm just gonna apply these to my eyes. I'm gonna cut them and I'll show you how I do that in a moment and where I'm gonna place them. So I'm just gonna trim them from the back side. I'm gonna put my lash glue on like so. I just take the wand and you just brush it right on your lashes. So I'm just gonna let these get a little bit tacky and then I'm gonna put them on my eyes. Here are those lashes. So I'm gonna put them just kind of right over where the pupil area is and then you can kind of angle them upward as well. So now beauties, I also have this highlighter palette from Undone and it has all of these stunning shades inside. So I'm gonna apply some of this, some right up here and I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of bronzer. And then finally, beauties, also from Undone Clean Beauty Lip Gloss, I have here this shade called Peach and Honey. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of lip liner, and then you just wanna kinda smush your lips together, and this will get the lip liner nice and blended for you. So then I'm gonna put on, actually this is called Big Papa. So let me go ahead and put it on. So beauties, this is the finished look for my clean girl makeup look. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today and testing out these new clean girl makeup products as well. I absolutely love them. I could not recommend them more. They were kind of hidden in Ulta. I don't know how to describe it, but they were hidden in like a corner. At least at my Ulta, they were hidden in a back corner section. It was kind of awkward, but I'm so glad that I found them. They were both together. The Undone was on top and the Well People brand were, was on the bottom. So I'm not sure if they're related in the company, but they work kind of together in the same kiosk if you're looking for them. So let me know what you think of my clean girl makeup look for the day. I usually do kind of wear a nude lip but I figured it'd be fun today to pop on more of a rosy tone lip. But either way, a rosy tone or a nude lip, so gorgeous for that clean girl makeup look. So let me know if you've tried these products. Let me know your clean beauty makeup favorites down below. I did want to have a pop-up giveaway today for a $40 Ulta gift card. So just be a subscriber to be entered to win that gift card. Also comment down below, hashtag GlamFam, and you'll be in it to win it. So I'll go through the comments and pick one of you beauties to take home the gift card for today. So thank you beauties so much for coming to hang out with me. I love you dolls so much, and I will see you very soon. Bye, I love you.